It was the war brought to life back home for the first time. In a world with no television, not even radio, this was staggeringly real. It's what brought people in droves to stare and gasp. Whole families came, hoping to glimpse fathers, sons, uncles and friends who'd marched away to war. It's hard to underestimate its significance, really. It's the first time and probably the last time that British audiences see British and German dead. It's probably one of the biggest box office successes in British cinema history. 20 to 22 million people saw the film. That's more than, I think it, it's better than Titanic. It's more or less better than any feature film that's ever been released since. Cameramen were a new breed too. Mavericks in uniform embedded with the troops. Perhaps the most prominent was this man, Geoffrey Malins from Hastings. The name of Geoffrey Malins isn't widely remembered in Hastings today, but he was born here, he grew up here, and it was here that he first handled a camera. Certainly in the early 1900s, he was working here in Hastings as a photographer. Um, in uh, 1906, it's known that he was working as a studio manager for a man called Harry Boyd, and uh, it's believed that in 1908, he actually took the premises over. So he was more than just a photographer's assistant, he became a businessman here. Oh, yes. And when war broke out, he became a correspondent. As the War Department decided a film of the Somme Offensive might lift morale at home, Malins was chosen as an official cameraman. His own book records how he was wounded and had several lucky escapes. It's a camera like one Malins would have used, all cogs, chains and windy handles. It's to be found in Deal, in the collection of a museum opening later this year. And basically, when you turn the handle, you were driving cogwheels with a chain. Um, and that was it. It was a purely mechanical process. know this camera was used during the First mm -hmm. World War. Yeah. I mean, you, you've got ghosts, I should think. Yes. I mean, yeah. no, no, I mean, it's absolutely, I mean, you know, if you shut your eyes, you can actually see Mr. Malin standing there. The film has been painstakingly restored by the Imperial War Museum, and later this year it will be shown all over the country as part of the centenary commemoration of the Battle of the Somme. There are plans to bring it back to the birthplace of the man who filmed the war. Robin Gibson, BBC Southeast Today, Hastings.